when conventional wisdom and science hold no answers, might we finally turn to the unconventional and the improbable as the answer. I'm Mordecai Lacrosse, and this is Paranormal Plus. Hello everyone, I'm Mordecai Lacrosse, and you're watching Paranormal Plus, as you can tell from the intro. Now, the interesting fact, or the interesting concept with this uh, particular paranormal phenomenon is the first time con uh, any experience with it was before I met my wife in my early 20s. Me and the person I was staying with had recently got a cable provider, since I'm not going to mention the cable company. So we particularly got this cable provider and we were flipping through the channels and we stumbled upon this particular channel that had a bunch of, you know how in pictures they show the frequencies doing a certain particular thing and thing of how the frequencies would look if they were visible to the human eye? Well, that's what was on this particular channel and a bunch of numbers, if you will. And the thing was, we weren't quite sure exactly what these numbers were or what the signal was or what was going on. So I had went, I had caught these uh, bus, the city bus, up to the cable provider that we'd gotten through. And I was trying to talk with the guy about the particular channel. And he said the channel didn't exist, that, were, that he didn't know what I was talking about. So I changed it, tried to change it to the channel at the, because at this cable provider, they actually have their own cable showing. Any, you know because they themselves have the cable connected up as well. And so they have this cable provider as well at their own company, and they were watching it, I guess as a way to advertise the product. And I changed it to the channel, and it said channel, you know, not available. And he says, oh, well, it says channel not available because that channel isn't. He said that channel is not available because it's not technically a channel. And I said, it was there. And so as I go to leave, I see these two particular individuals dressed in black outfits or black suits, if you will, talking to his boss. And as I walked out the door, they were watching me the entire time for some reason. And you know how that even when certain people are expressing motion, their faces still have some kind of expression on it. These certain individuals that were watching me, they seem to have an expressionless face. And so that was my first particular experience with this paranormal phenomenon. A few years later, when me and my wife got together, we had had this antenna thing that could pick up the, you know, it's when they were switching over to the digital reception, they gave out the digital antennas and whatnot, and we had stumbled upon this channel. And again, with a bunch of numbers and frequency, and, well, of course, we still had no explanation for it. Now, of course, my experience or with that particular channel is not the only channel or frequency on radio and on television of this particular paranormal phenomenon. In fact, there are quite many others, such as this one.
Grupi. Vest četiri. Tri, devet, pet, devet, četiri. Tri, devet, pet, devet, četiri. Now, not all of these number stations are paranormal. Some of these number stations have been identified as ways of people to communicate with spies. Now, of course, the U.S. government also, um, in a way, participated in using number stations to communicate with spies when it came to espionage, even though the U.S. government de denies the claims still to this day. That's not the number stations we're particularly talking about in this video. No, in this video, we're talking about number stations that people have tried to identify and try to trace back, and these number stations have not particularly traced back to anywhere, and have no explanation of where they're from or what these secret messages mean. For one of these interesting, uh, mysterious signals, sometimes they're not always number stations, which I'll have in a, another video at some point, such as the Max Headroom incident, or such as the weird alien signal that uh, this or agency known as the search for extraterrestrial life out there or whatever, or known as SETI, S-E-T-I. I'll discuss that in another Paranormal Plus video in the future. But for this video, we're talking about the number stations that have not been traced back to espionage or any government spying on people or anything like that. No, we're talking about number stations that have weird messages and weird dates. For instance, there have been number stations that have weird dates listed and then later on these particular dates led to actual certain worldwide events or local events in the particular area that these number stations have been at or have been traced back to and these particular situations cannot be explained comment down below of what you think of the particular number stations that were discussed in this video of what its origins might be i'd like to hear your feedback so comment down below of what you think anyways I'm Mordecai Lacrosse, and if you want to see more Paranormal Plus videos, make sure you hit the subscribe button and that notification bell to be notified of future Paranormal Plus videos. Like I said, comment down below of what you think of this number station's phenomenon. I'd like to hear your feedback. Oh, and hey, comment down below if there's any particular paranormal phenomenon or incident that you would like me to talk about in a future Paranormal Plus video. I always like to hear your feedback and criticism and all that jazz, like I said, in that comment section down below. So, comment down below. Anyways, thank you for watching. I'm Mordecai Lacrosse. As always, I'll see you on the other side.